so I'm waiting for a boy to come in and I've actually already photographed um, his parents when they got married then like his big brother as a newborn as a sitter so how to get returning customers how to make your clients come back to you well I'm gonna talk about that a little bit after the session first uh, I'm just gonna wait for the clients to come so it's a little boy he is seven months old he can sit by himself so it's a sitter session I have some outfits ready I'm gonna do four setups like for the course I'm gonna show you the photos the camera settings um, my light placement uh, stuff like that so I want to start with this decor it's just like a mint green backdrop from studio backdrops.eu Flocati from newborn props.eu little blanket from Aliexpress here we've got the dark wood um, I have my bench of course the transparent oak wood uh, version but I also have this basket I got from a garden center and here I have some outfits just on display they're pretty like newer outfits so they didn't use them with the other boy uh, just to showcase some outfits of course changing area here I have more outfits that they can look through hats stuff like that so yeah we're just I'm just waiting for them to come they have to drive pretty far to get here which is always a compliment for the photographer that they want to come that far so here you see my single light I'm using during the session Westcott 50 in softbox Godox speed light turned inwards Nikon D750 with the 24 to 70 millimeter lens and my trigger and I have to say my camera fell down on this floor from up there um, so the the sun cover broke it's in three pieces right now uh, but this one also something is moving inside when I move it and sometimes the batteries kind of like lose contact um, and then it won't turn on so I'm gonna get a new one and I want to get a different trigger because this is already the second one that it's not working that well anymore and of course it fell down so I don't blame uh, the construction this time but the previous one also the battery clip came loose and the batteries start like falling out like losing contact and this one already had it as well but now that it fell um, I don't trust it that much anymore so uh, yeah I have this to get the baby's attention the flash will be at 1 slash 32 and I also want to get some shots of the boys together and then I might use my second speed light <coughs> uh, that baby pointing towards the ceiling on 1 slash 64 pretty much because um, then I want to light up two boys and I shoot with a smaller aperture instead of like 3.2 or 2.8 I'll go to like 4.5 I still want to align them same distance from the camera but one is always a little bit forward one is always a little bit back I want to get them both sharp and in focus and I don't need to create like a nice blurry background anyway when I just photo when I photograph them together on the creamy background, because uh, it's a solid background. Uh, but anyway, so um, then I have uh, I, then I have a little bit more light, which is always great, so I don't have to crank up my ISO that much.
I think if I had to choose what my favorite type of session is, it's the sitter session. I love it the most. Um, you get genuine smiles and just happy babies, smiling, crawling, sitting, having those big baby eyes, curious, looking into the world, putting their finger in their mouth, taking their hats off. You just have so many gorgeous photos in less than an hour. A sitter session lasts like 45 minutes up to an hour um, and then you have like four time four outfit changes in between happy baby and I always say to the parents you know because usually they've been sleeping in the car this baby been sleeping in the car like if you want to give them a snack in between if you want to give him like a, something to drink like make him a bottle you can you know we can have a little break in between I can change the decor I mean they can change the outfit but then if the baby wants a little, like a little snack go for it because I'd rather continue for like five ten minutes more and have a happy baby then rush and not have a happy baby in the photos but a hungry cranky baby see so yeah, how to get returning customers um manage their expectations uh if a client comes to you the first time they don't really know what to expect but if they do a little bit know what to expect and you meet their expectations and you even exceed those expectations they want to come back to you um, so what I would say is have clear communication on your web page what the parents can expect so so there are no miscommunications like misunderstandings on how many digital files are included if there are any files included um, or if you sell products like what the price price range is for those products like the price of the session of course um how long the session will last what's included like outfit changes outfits that you have in the studio what if they come to your studio and they expect a two hour long session and you have all these outfits ready and they get a hundred digital files i mean they come in with really high expectations uh, what if your session is only 30 minutes you have clients coming in after them so you rush them out you don't have any outfits in the studio it's maybe cold uh it's your studio is maybe not very clean uh, and they maybe only get one digital file or none at all they don't want to come back to you because they're disappointed so you don't want to disappoint your clients of course you also don't want to give in to whatever they ask you like if i have a client afterwards saying to me oh i thought we would get 100 digital files we only get five what's up uh, i can say okay um it was actually on my website that five were included it was in the email i sent you it was in the booking form that you signed and you even had to tick a box in the booking form understanding that there would be five files included so i'm sorry there was a misunderstanding on your side but that's just what i offer um, yeah, I can say that because I've been clear in my communications and it's usually just people who want to just see what they can get. Um, they play a game that I don't want to play. So I'm clear from the beginning. So yeah, meet the expectations and like make sure that the expectations of the customer are realistic. I sent them a video link when they uh, contact me where they see the studio, they see me working, they see uh, uh, snips and bits from different sessions. So they know what the studio looks like, they know how I work. And then of course they get all the information. So they have a pretty clear understanding of what to expect. Before the session, I sent them an extra email confirming the time. I sent them an image of what the front of the studio looks like, where they can park the car, how they can walk to the entrance of the studio. Be as clear as possible okay so you want your clients to come back so i don't know i sent them a preview after you know, within two days after the session and the clients get so excited because they're waiting for their images they're super curious so within two days after the session they get a preview and it's actually a video with eight photos and some music and the name of the baby and it's like beautiful sweet music and the photos get zoomed in and zoomed out and they're just like crying when they see the preview well i know some of them are because they sent me a message afterwards that they were just watching it over and over again and crying their eyes out because it's so touching and beautiful they share it with family and friends they can save it on the computer it does have my logo on it so it's actually advertising as well when they send it to family and friends and it's not like they can take a screenshot and then print the photo themselves i mean they can but it'll be a really bad quality and it has my logo like this big on it uh, but yeah 
clients, happy clients are returning clients. You can give them even like a voucher coupon with a discount for the next time they come uh, or they can hand it out to family and friends. Uh, that's a good incentive for them to come back. I know some photographers have like a reward system where they can get points after every session and with that many points they can exchange it for like a product or discount or extra digital image. I don't know. You can have something like that. Then I want to be as clear as possible in my after communications and I give them compliments the whole time. So it would be like it was an honor to photograph your beautiful baby girl. She's so sweet. Here you have the preview, blah, blah, blah. And then like, please download it within seven days because the link will expire. Just be very clear. And then the link to the gallery again. The photos of your handsome son are ready. Uh, he did such an amazing job. Here you have the password to the gallery. Have fun picking your photos. Let me know when you're done picking whatever. And then I received the email of them saying they want all the photos or I receive an email saying that they're done picking their favorites. I can send them again. Okay, are you done picking or do you want more time? I will send you a payment link for the extra images, whatever. Be as clear as possible. And then when I send them the files, I'll be again like, they're edited with so much love and care. I hope you will enjoy them for a very long time. Hope to see you again someday, whatever. Um, of course, you can have a newsletter. Um, that will keep the bond between you and your customers warm. Because they read something. They see your name. They see um, what you're doing. I mean, I wouldn't do send out a newsletter too much because that becomes like spamming. Um, I actually don't send out a newsletter at the moment because I don't have the time. But I could to get more returning customers. I know there are photographers who actually send the baby a postcard before their first birthday with like a picture of their newborn shoot on it. It's like, oh, it's almost your birthday. It was so great to photograph you as a newborn. If you want to come by for a cake semester session for your first birthday, here is, I don't know, a 10% discount voucher. So they actually are very um, inviting towards the customers that come again to their studio. I don't do that, but I mean, you can. You can give them a gift, um, like a six month postcard. How are you doing? Uh, with like a keychain with a picture in it from their newborn session. I, and then like, maybe your logo on the back and they hang it on their diaper bag or whatever on their keys. It's like advertising, it's keeping the customers engaged. Uh, maybe regularly post on your Facebook, Instagram, because a lot of your previous customers are following you there. So they like to know what you're doing, how you're doing. And you want to tease them with some photos of a cake smash session. After they've been with you for a newborn and a sitter session, cake smash can be the next thing. So post on social media so they uh, uh, see your work and think of you whenever they are planning uh, the first birthday. Stuff like that. Uh, but and oh, very important, make sure that your quality is consistent so that they can recognize your photos, just that they're gorgeous, beautiful, you put a lot of time and effort in it, your editing is consistent, your lighting is consistent, your decor, your outfits, whatever. So they can recognize your photos, they love it, and if they go to another photographer, it'll be disappointing because they want to have your photos and they want to have a photo wall. You can even offer like a product where it's like a growing photo wall. So they start with two, three tiles and they grow as they add more shoots, they can order more tiles and it's like gorgeous, a collage. But if they go to another photographer, that photo will be, I don't know, more light and airy or more darker and moody and it will not fit in with the rest of the photos. So they want to keep coming to you for like family sessions, mini sessions and next maternity shoot, baby, newborn, whatever because it's all the same style, same editing style. So I would say as a photographer, don't change your editing style overnight completely, like <laughs> go from bright and airy to dark and moody overnight because just you feel like it. Um, uh, you can, of course, do whatever you want, but I wouldn't do it. I want to stay a little bit the same. I sometimes I play with editing a little bit and I do tweak my own actions where I'm like, oh, I, I kind of miss a little bit of warmth in the photo. So. I add a little bit more warmth in the sessions that are coming, but it's not like the sessions from last year are completely different. I'm actually gonna show you some photos from the Big Brother sitter session and then the sitter session from today to see that they still look very pretty together in the living room of their parents.
That one was a few years ago, that one was from today, but they still look pretty together. So yeah, how to get returning customers, make your customers happy, don't give them whatever they want, but treat them with respect and manage their expectations, set their expectations realistically and offer a good quality product. Uh, maybe communicate with them after the session in a very positive and loving way by maybe a newsletter or whatever, or just sending them like a, even a digital. You can even send them an email when the baby's like six months old. How are you doing? We'd love to see you again during a cake smash session. Um, but I mean, maybe not, maybe, I don't even know if it's allowed to just send people random like emails, like unsolicited emails. I don't do it, but I mean, those are optional, whatever. It's possible that you do that, but it's up to you. Uh, these are just some tips and tricks. Um, so yeah, I actually have a lot of uh, returning customers and I love it. And some drive pretty far. They actually drove an hour and 45 minutes to come here, um, which is awesome. That's just such a big compliment. I just hope they enjoyed this session today and they love the photos. And maybe if they ever have a third baby, they'll come back again. So yeah, with re returning customers, it's the last thing I want to say about it. You have older siblings coming to your studio as well. I have like a little play area with like a wooden train track. Uh, they can like play a game where they fish with magnetic fishes and whatever. Uh, like puzzles, like farm animals. So the older siblings can actually play a little bit during the session. This is not a very long session. Um, but yeah, just take into account that when you have returning customers, they have older siblings, the ones that you photographed before. Uh, maybe it's nice if you have something to do for them as well. One other thing I do is that I try to get some new props and some new outfits in the studio. So it's not like exactly the same as the previous session with the older sibling. So that's why I sometimes take some outfits out of my collection and I add some new ones. So there's like, there are new items as well, but I also try to keep some of the older ones because they thought it was fun that he was like wearing the same hat or something. Um, but yeah, also with the backgrounds, uh, sometimes I change, I add a little background. I have the new blue one that they liked. So it's something different as well. So it's not exactly the same shoot as with the older sibling. They have their own kind of images as well, new uh, new outfits, new hats. So maybe once in a while, add something to your collection, to your client closet, uh, maybe add a new backdrop so that um, it's fun for the people who are following you and social media. They see that you have something new, so they're like, oh, maybe we want to book a session again. We really love this new backdrop that she has. And um, so it's not all exactly the similar stuff that you have, but also some new stuff. Uh, clients will love that. So thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Maybe in the comments, share some tips and tricks with the rest out there. What you do to get your clients to come back to you for more sessions. Um, thanks for watching. Yeah.